I'm gonna rig up a weedless Nico rig. I got a 16th ounce nail, a VMC O-ring, and a Biospawn six inch plasma tail. Start out with the O-ring, slide it over the tail. Bring it down pretty close to the head. It's not quite like wacky rigging where you want it in the middle. I like it a little bit closer to the head. Take the nail, put it in the head of the worm, and then I'll take my hook and I'm gonna hook more than just the O-ring. I wanna get a little bit of plastic in there. This makes them hold up a little better if you can kind of just get a little bit of plastic on that hook. There she is. Weedless Nico. Yeah, it's out here scanning. We got a little point coming offshore looking for some hard bottom. You can see we just came off a big grass flat. We got a hard bottom area here within the grass. You can see this is all grass all the way around here with a nice hard bottom turn right there. I can almost promise you we're going to catch some fish right here. I'm going to lay a few waypoints on it just to get it all mapped out. So we got grass on all sides of it. So I'm going to come in here and basically mark the corners. I mean, that's about as good as it gets in the north country. Anytime you're fishing up north in the summer, anywhere hard bottom and grass edges meet, that's always, that's as good as it gets. That's what you're looking for. If you have the deep weed edge that butts up to some rock or some form of hard bottom, that's, uh, I mean, that's the juice up north. And you can see on my graph now I got, it's a fairly big area around a little lake, so we don't have a map, apologize for that. Um, but I got my four corners marked to that hard area. Now I'm just gonna go back and, I don't know, we might get in the middle of it and cast around or stay outside and fish the edges of it, but I can almost promise you we're gonna catch some fish right there. There we go, just like that. Got on the hole with the Nico rig. Not a big one, but I guarantee there's a bunch of them down there. Hit the spot lock. I don't know if you can see on my waypoints, I'm kind of dead center in the hole. So we're just basically going to have a circle of death around us and just fire off in every direction. This hole's pretty big. I mean, bigger than I'd like it to be. Honestly, it seems like the best ones are about the size of a, you know, maybe a boat or two as far as holes in the grass go. but the fact it's hard bottom, this one is going to have some fish on it, I would assume. I just hit the spot like in the middle of the hole and I'm dead center in it. So basically we got a, a weed edge all around us and I'm just going to start working around it like a clock and try to figure out where the biggest ones are sitting on it. There's a big one. Not as big as I thought. Another nice chunk. I'm sure that weedless Nico is going to come in a little more and play just because we got all this grass around in this hole. But that was a pretty good cast because that one didn't hit the bottom. So I'm just going to keep firing back there until it does. All right, so I got a bite. I'm just going to reel down tight into it and just ease back. You don't need a big hard hook set. With this little Nico hook, it's so thin and sharp, it penetrates really good. This ain't a great big one, but I just wanted to demonstrate. I see guys like reel down and really tee off on them with this little hook, and it doesn't seem like uh, the hooking percentage is that good that way. See, I got them in the corner of the mouth, that fish is never coming off. With this little Nico rig, he's not gonna spit that out, it's just a little worm with a little bitty weight. Nothing special for a fish, but just wanted to demonstrate how I set the hook on a Nico rig. I see a lot of guys wind down and tee off on them and I just don't think that's really the, the best way to get it done when you're using that real light wire finesse style hook. Getting into that three pound status. Not quite, but. Mouthful of weedless Nico. He's been caught before. Chunker. We got a little inside turn here in the weeds. And fish are eating it when I get out on this clean spot, but I gotta throw up into the grass and drag it out. Let me through my worm. Fired up one. So I was throwing a regular Nico hook. Every time I'd throw in there, I'd get balled up on grass and I wouldn't be able to catch those fish, so. That's where this weedless one really comes in handy. Oh, 
little bass, little grass. Makes the world go round. For my Nico rig setup, throwing a Daiwa Tatula Elite medium action Bren Ayler drop shot rod. Exist 3000 for a reel. I got eight pound suffix 832 braid to actually fishing a 10 pound fluorocarbon leader right now just because we got fishing around a lot of cover with all the grass and stuff. So usually I'm throwing eight if I'm in more open water, but got her a little bit beefed up just so we can cut through the grass and get them fish out of there. Mm -hmm. 